Trying to hear back on our video and today. We it is the second week in review for SmackDown and the Raw week in review will be on Monday. And SmackDown, I thought it was better than last week. Last week and um, it was okay. Well, last week was good, I, but I thought this week was a little better. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Moving into the beginning of the show, it was Miss C Miss Miss and Morrison hosting Miss TV, and then Jeff Hardy and yeah, they're just talking about all this stuff. But then Sheamus. Came on the tight. I know that's this. I'm gonna slam. I'm doing this. I'm gonna slam for my own figure show. Um, yeah. On the tight draw, Sheamus shows up. So yeah, and he was just talking to Hardy, and Hardy had enough and just beat down um, Miz and Morrison. Then that led to our match, Miz versus Hardy, one of the best matches of the night. There's one more match I'll talk about, which is my favorite match of the night. Which yeah, but so for these, there's only this, this match and one more match. Like. Yeah, so this is bring, I'm ranking this match number two, and yeah, I thought it was pretty decent. Jeff Hardy got the roll up one, I think, and then yeah, one, two, three, and then Jeff Hardy actually rolled out of the ring, which is which is cool, and yeah, I thought that was pretty good. Um, moving over here, I, this is I thought this is the weakest part of the match. It was, uh, I'm so tired of this feud, honestly. Um, it was Sasha, and I'm tired of Sasha and Bailey. Oh my god, um, it was Nate Cross and Alexa Bliss for Sasha and Bailey. As you know, um, these um, these two um, are going at it. Extreme rules for the sm no no no. Um, Nikki Cross and Bailey are going at it at this for the SmackDown title, and the Sasha Banks is going up against Oscar. Yeah, I thought it was it was okay. Um, yeah, I didn't find this too interesting. I kind of ignored it. Um, and I, Sasha and Bailey did get the win. Yeah, I didn't really. I'm tired of this shoot, honestly. I'm tired of these two as heels. They should, honestly, I need to bear his faces. And Alexa Bliss better as a heel. And Nikki Cross, she's fine as a face. Uh, I still like me. I still, I still like her as a heel. And these two? No. Alright, um, moving here. Um, oh, no, no. Before that. Before that. Um, they showed the, uh, the replay of Money in the Bank. Braun Strowman versus Bray Wyatt. Again, this was probably one. This was a, probably a, this was a good match. Well, this was a decent match, in my opinion. Um, yeah, I, yeah, you already know what happened. If you watched Money in the Bank 2020, yeah, this is right before, um, they, like, it should, like, they brought back, like, some crowd members from Performance Center. Yeah, I thought this was, yeah, I thought this was a good match. <laughs> and that's just, like, more build-up for their match at, um, Extreme Rules, which I think this week or next week. Um, here we have, um, the Rap Battle, hosted by Jimmy Uso. Jimmy Uso. Hold on. Yeah, Jimmy Uso hosted, um... The rap battle, it was Lacey Evans singing like um, a Southern song. And then it was um, Tamina. I think, I think Tamina did the worst, I'm sorry. Yeah, Tamina was just doing a Triple H. Then it was Dana Brooke who did um, Honky Talk Man. And Naomi did Dusty Rose. I thought Naomi did the best. And I'm, I'm glad that they gave Naomi a push. And after Lacey Evans actually attacked, like pushed um, Naomi down to the ground, then they had a match, and I think Lacey Evans turned heel. And I know that's Maurice, but I'm just using that as um, Lacey Evans. And yeah, I thought that was pretty good as well. But the match, um, it was okay. But yeah, but the segment with the rap, rap battle was pretty cool. Um, here we go. We have AJ Styles getting interviewed. Well, not by Matt Rule, but interviewed by one of the announcers. I forgot her name. I think it's Kayla Brax. No, I don't know. That was like a blonde lady, not Renee Young. Um, yeah, it's like an interview, like, um, how you're going to, def like, when you're defending your intercontinent until next week, and then it's Matt Rule, and then it was still, it was talking about how, like, how embarrassed, like, uh, Drew Gulak, Drew Gulak was, and stuff, and then, yeah, Matt Rule was on, Matt Rule will be on next week for the, for the title. Moving into our main event, I thought this was, this was pretty good, this probably, this is the favorite, this is my favorite part, and this is actually my favorite match, it was a really good match, um, between the New Day, and since yeah, Shinsuke and Cesaro, and at the end they got disqualified. I don't, I kind of didn't really see because I was like getting myself some water. So, but yeah, um, but I did see this part. Um, they took, they sent Biggie into the stairs, and he said I moved the stairs. And but the, but then they had Biggie lay down. Cesaro bought in the table, laid Biggie down, and this Cesaro power bombed um um Kofi Kingston. Biggie through a table. Oh, and also, Kofi Kingston, like, Shinsuke pushed some Kofi into, um, the, the apron, I think. Yeah. 
And yeah, I thought, and that is SmackDown for this week. I really hope you guys know it. If I rate SmackDown, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. I thought it wasn't too bad. Then this is the weakest part here. And then the ma and then the match here. So the mainly the two women's matches. Um kinda gave it a seven out of ten. But anyways that I'm not trying to hate on the woman. But but I thought the rap out was good. These two I hope um the crossroads with Bailey is good. And I I'm more excited for um, Sasha versus um Asuka. But and and then but yeah, hopefully um extreme rules will be good, which I most likely will. Because ever since they introduced the crowd, it's been really good. Ron SmackDown and NXT. But NXT honestly was kind of good without the crowd. Alright, but I'm going to shut my mouth in this video. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed the weekend review. This is a shorter weekend review actually because, um. Um. Yeah, because what did not know what happened in, on SmackDown only because of this match. Because they showed like an extra match. Match, um, like, from Money to Bank. But otherwise that, but still, I thought SmackDown was good. And yeah, let me know what you guys thought of Friday and SmackDown. And yeah, I'll see you guys most likely for the Rob Weekend review on Monday. Matt is out. Stay safe and quarantine.